Okay, today, episode number 929 is a special episode. 929 or September 29th will be the date that we're doing episode 1001. So today, we're announcing the newest Road Trippia audience participation competition. If you stick around after question 20, we'll go over the rules. I'll give you a link to a video that explains everything thoroughly. One of our viewers is going to win $500 in the audience participation challenge for the last 50 episodes. We're going to announce the winner on episode number 1001, which occurs on September 29th, which happens to be my birthday. Should be a good time. Make sure you stick around for it. Question number one. Affecting approximately 3% of adults in America and similar numbers worldwide, what is the common name for the abnormal condition of somnambulism or noctambulism that belongs to the parasomnia family of disorders? The answer is sleepwalking. Question number two, still a common name in the industry today. In 1902, what was the last name of the man that designed the first modern air conditioning system, launching an industry that would fundamentally improve the way we live? The answer is Carrier, Willis Carrier. Question number three. The element curium was named after Marie Curie, but was not discovered by her. What was the name of the element, number 84, that she did discover and named after her home country? Hailing from Poland, she named it Polonium. Question number four. Located between Sumatra and Java, what was the name of the small volcanic island that at 10 a.m. on August 27, 1883, erupted in one of the most devastating volcanic explosions in history, killing more than 36,000 people? The answer is Krakatoa. Question number five. According to a popular poem about the sport of baseball written in 1888 by Ernest Thayer, what was the first name of the pinch hitter that didn't pull through for the Mudville Nine when he went to bat? The answer is Casey, from Casey at the Bat. Question number six. According to the tales, what lady and her cow were responsible for the great Chicago fire that burned from October 8th through 10th, 1871, killing approximately 300 people and destroying roughly 3.3 square miles of the city? I believe she was just the scapegoat, but her name was Miss O'Leary. Miss O'Leary's cow. Question number seven. Eventually named after Herbert Hoover, who granted funds to have it built, the Hoover Dam was a huge engineering feat in its day and stretches a whopping 220 acres, damming up the Colorado River. What was it originally called from 1933 to 1947? Originally, it was called the Boulder Dam. Question number eight. 
What is the name of the famous children's writer who, at age 46, bought a farm in England's Lake District and devoted her remaining 30 years to real animals, abandoning her many literary friends such as Tom Kitten, Benjamin Bunny, and Peter Rabbit? Her name was Beatrix Potter. Question number nine. It is unclear whether they were an actual construction or poetic creation because there were only five writers whose description of the area exists in some form today. What is the only one of the ancient seven wonders of the world for which the location has not been definitively established? The only one they don't know exactly where it was is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Question 10. The protagonist of Victor Hugo's 1862 novel, Les Miserables, what is the name of the character that endures a 19-year-long struggle to lead a normal life after serving a prison sentence for stealing bread to feed his sister's children? His name was Jean Valjean. Question number 11. Twins, the 1988 American buddy comedy film about an unlikely pair of twins who were separated at birth, stars Arnold Schwarzenegger as Julius, and what other actor as his twin brother Vincent? His brother Vincent was played by Danny DeVito. Question number 12. There are three available positions when working in a honey bee colony. The queen is one of those positions, but openings are rare. What are the other two job roles that a bee could fall in? The answer is a drone bee or a worker bee. Question 13. Under the doctrine of separation of powers, the governance of a state is traditionally divided into three branches, each with separate and independent powers and responsibilities. What are the three branches? The answer is the legislative, the judicial, and the executive. Question 14. The last emperor of Russia, what man ruled from November 1st, 1894 until March 15th, 1917, and was eventually executed along with his family and other members of his household in the Epetyev house in Yekaterinburg? His name was Nicholas II. Question 15. Commemorating the fabled run of the Greek soldier Pheidippides, what do we call the foot race of the official distance of 42.195 kilometers, roughly the same distance he ran from the battlefield to Athens to report their victory? The answer is a marathon. Question 16. In 1935, a series of laws was promulgated there excluding Jews from citizenship. And in 1946, in what German town did the surviving leaders of the Third Reich get condemned for crimes against humanity?
named after the city, Nuremberg, those were called the Nuremberg Trials. Question 17, starring Bruce Willis as a child psychologist whose patient, played by Haley Joel Osment, can talk to the dead. What is the name of the writer and director of the 1999 supernatural psychological thriller film, The Sixth Sense? The answer is M. Night Shyamalan. Question number 18, becoming internationally known for the Irish dance shows Riverdance, Lord of the Dance, Feet of Flames, and the Celtic Tiger Live. What is the name of the American who brought traditional Irish dancing to a much wider audience? His name was Michael Flatley. Question 19. This northern Italian city is home to the world famous opera house known as La Scala and the church which houses Leonardo da Vinci's famous fresco, The Last Supper. What is the name of this capital city of Lombardy? The answer is Milan. And question 20. Camp Nobi Bosco is a 380-acre thriving scout camp tucked away in the hills of northwestern New Jersey that gained international fame as Camp Crystal Lake in the original film of what horror franchise? Camp Crystal Lake is featured in the Friday the 13th movies. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is a special episode because we're announcing our newest audience participation challenge at the end of the video, which is right now. Now let me tell you, I hate clogging up the Road Trivia channel with stuff that isn't actual trivia quizzes because I don't want you to be watching a playlist of trivia quizzes and then come across the random channel challenge from two years ago. So I never post all of the rules and stuff on this channel so I'm gonna link a video above and then probably at the end and down in the description it's just a YouTube video that explains all the rules and requirements for this YouTube challenge that goes into details and gives you everything that you need to know the abbreviated version of it is we are having a competition anybody who watches this channel can submit a 25 question random trivia quiz so similar to what we have going on today today's quiz the Sunday night pub quiz anybody who wants to can submit a 25 question random trivia quiz I will record them into road trivia episodes and they will be shown from I think around August 8th to around September 27th uh, I'm calling it the final 50 challenge. So the final 50 episodes before we hit episode number 1000 on this channel will all be submitted by viewers. I'm going to accept them on a first come first serve basis. So if you email me a 25 question random trivia quiz and it meets all the rules and requirements from the video posted at the end of today's quiz, I will give you a number and I will put that video on the calendar. So we'll start at August 8th, we're going all the way to September 27th. There's 50 quizzes there. The first 50 people will get a number. And then when we're celebrating episode number 1000 on September 29th, I'm going to draw 
one of those numbers of the people who entered in this challenge and one of those numbers is going to win five hundred dollars and I'll PayPal it to you or I'll Venmo it to you or whatever we have to do to get you that money this is going to be a good time you're more than welcome like I said just watch the video because it'll explain all of the ins and outs of the challenge and all the things that you can do I don't have enough time at the end of this video to explain it all so check out that video just know that if you submit a random trivia quiz between now and August 8th and you're one of the first 50 to do it you're entered into the Road Trivia Final 50 Challenge to win $500. So let's wrap up this episode so you can go over and watch the rules and requirements uh, of the challenge. Here is question 21 for today, the tiebreaker for Sunday Night Pub Quiz. An open-air venue used for entertainment, performances, and sports what term for ancient arenas like the Colosseum comes from the Greek words meaning viewing on both sides? The Greek words meaning viewing on both sides. The word we're looking for is an amphitheater. Amphitheater is the answer to the tiebreaker question. All right, on the screen now should be the links or a link to click over and view the rules and requirements of the challenge if you're interested in entering. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.